web apps can be a lot of really hard work and you don't really want to spend too much time on building individual components. You actually want to just leverage other people's work. And that is where packages come in. And today I'm going to show you how you can create a package from scratch and how you can share it with the community so others can benefit from your work. You can create a lot of features that are really powerful and eliminate a lot of the dependencies that a lot of other developers would have to maintain if they created everything from scratch. So let's dive in. When you get to the projects page in Toddle, you can see two options at the top. Package, which is a shareable building block like we just talked about, or an app, which is a full app or web component. And these you're super familiar with, you've been building it for a long time. Let's dive into packages. The first thing you're asked to do is to give it a name. The ID will auto-populate. The two don't have to be the same, but in this case, we're just gonna try to create one called social icons because we're gonna create a icon pack that's lightweight that others can use. So say, for example, you have in your footer a bunch of icons of social networks that are linking to your social networks profile, uh, network profiles. That happens pretty much with any web app or any website. So you don't wanna sit and recreate the things. I'm gonna do it today so you can see how, how long that takes. And then you'll also get a sense of how quick it will be if you could just install this package instead. But let's go ahead and click create project. It'll load, and then you get into a familiar editor. What you see here is you have a template. And this template is actually the landing page for your package. So when people click out here in the left-hand menu, there's not here because we're in packages and you can't install packages in packages, at least not yet. Here you have an icon and then you can click and you can see what people are looking at. So consider this your readme txt, which you would have on any package on the internet that's distributed for others to use. And what the, the purpose is, is essentially just to, in very brief sentences, educate users on how they should use your app. You have um, video, you have main benefits, um, a, a short description, you can have a demo. We're gonna dive into this section in a bit because typically it's not what you would start filling out. You, you need to build your app first. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's click on outside of the canvas um, and then do a command K or control K if you're on Windows. And out here you, you see that you have a home page. that's kind of your readme.txt. And then you have components, action, formulas, media. And in some packages, you only need one of them. You're not, you don't need all of them. Uh, for this particular package, we're gonna need components because we're gonna try to create these icons as components so you can just get them in. So I'm gonna click component. And then this little thing shows up. You're probably familiar with it if you've been building before. And I'm going to start, the first logo that we're gonna create is gonna be Facebook. So Facebook, we create it. And then we have the blank div and I've done a little homework. So I've, uh, I have the SVGs available. So I'm just gonna copy paste command V uh, or control V if you're on Windows that into the div. And what you see here is, is a very small icon. You almost can't see it. And it's a Facebook icon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just leave everything up to what you're doing outside of this. So we're just gonna leave this so that you can inherit. I am going to set the color to inherit both for um, for the, the background and the foreground. So we just leave this as inherit. Because then 
whoever pulls it in, you don't have a predetermined color, they can use their own style variables um, or a style sheet to color these, um, these icons. So we're going to go back and we're going to add another component. We're going to add um, a couple, just the, 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 the usual suspects. So Instagram, let's do LinkedIn. And then we have um, not a very typical social network, but a social network nonetheless, Mastodon, Snap, Chat. Let's do TikTok first. And then X is going to be the last one. And now we're actually kind of done. So now we can choose to do a couple of things. We can publish the, the package as it is right now. And then we can get back to it later. I'm going to just for safety sake, just keep my branch as small as possible. I'm going to publish it now. And you can see kind of the overview of things that have changed on your branch. So I'm just going to say added icons uh, with inherited text and background color. And then we have that. We can publish it. And then we can always see what that change was that we made in that branch. So if we go to the branch history, we can say, oh, here's when I added the, 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 the icons with the text and background color inherited. And what's really cool about this is if I make any changes that break my app, I can just roll it back to, uh, right now it's the live version, but I could roll it back to the initial version um, or later on to this. So I'm gonna create a branch and then we're gonna talk about the next things that we're gonna do. Um, add, let's say, add description for the package. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about the package, what kind of components that we wanna describe. The first thing is we're gonna call, the main benefit is add social icons to your web app in uh, easy, yeah, yeah, just do this. Um, and then this is an icon pack that contains SVGs of the most popular social network icons. Let's do that. <clears throat> and then keep it very basic. It doesn't have to be a wall of text. The less, the better, the more descriptive, the better. Just keep it short and concise. There is a, an option to add a video here. We don't want that um, because there's, I mean, we, we have no video for this. So we'll, we'll just delete it. And then you can see, okay, it's pretty um, easy to read. Not a lot going on here. We, we will want to include a demo. So we're just going to, um, inside of this div, we're going to create another div. And in this div, we're going to add a social icon. And now we've created all these components. They will appear here. And what's really cool is if someone installs this package, they'll be able to see these social icons, Snapchat, X, TikTok, Facebook, etc. Right now we're going to add X. Let's start with that one. And then it's quite small. And what we want to do is basically just, we want to increase the size a little bit. So we're going to do a width and a height of 50 pixels. Um, and we can see that it's not really um, operating in the way that we want it to. So let's go back into that component. And these are some of the things that we kind of figure out as we go. Um, let's set the width to 100% and the height to 100%. Because then we get kind of the, the icon will show in full size whatever we do and we can adjust it in the div that we put it in. Now that makes it a lot easier for people. Otherwise the icon would be very tiny, teeny small uh, and we don't want that. So we're going to copy uh, basically this to all of the others. We're going to go back. 
All right, now all the icons are the correct height and width. And here you can see that the box adjusted to what I set my div to. So if I say, for example, set this to 75 or 75 pixels, it'll increase in size. And actually I don't need this, so I'm just gonna remove that. We want this to be, I think 50, because we're gonna fit in quite a lot of icons. And I'm just gonna copy this and say, um, put in. I first of all want to um, not have everyone be X. So instead of having this as an X, I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna put in a new component, TikTok and Instagram. And then we can delete these other divs. We don't really want them or need them. So, whoop. And everything's nicely centered, but they're all different color. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on the div that pulse them and I'm gonna change the color to a, let's do a white. And then you see all of them are nicely looking, they look white. Uh, there's some changes in terms of the width and that's actually because I made the width as 50 pixels, whereas I should have set the height to 50 pixels. So let's go ahead and do that. And now they're all kind of looking okay. I can make sure that they are, do they all have, yeah, that there's a little gap there, which is nice. And they're all centered. I might want them to be like that, I think is probably the best. Um, cool. Yeah. And now what I can do is I can now show, showcase the, the demo, what the components look like, and then I can go down. And I'm just going to unfold this by double clicking and then see the all of the things that we have. So actions, we have zero of. We should only have the things in the description that um, that is relevant to this package. Style variables, we don't really need that either. So we're just gonna delete that. We're gonna delete this one because we don't actually have any um, attributes for them. Um, and then we can put in the, the different components that we have. And we could theoretically just like make it nice and social icons in this pack. We're gonna take this entire div, copy, and we're gonna paste it in to this div. And then we have it. Um, we have this pack contains all the social media icons for uh, seeing the law. Boop. <coughs> and then we actually have a package that is ready to be published. So we're gonna we're gonna go and publish this package. And we are gonna say added description and edits to components. Publish branch. And look at this. Now we've got a package. And if we wanted to go back to when I added icons, I could just click roll back, but we don't want to do that. We want to add a description. So we're going to say um, cool icon pack with all the popular social networks. Ah, no. Uh, and then we're going to add in, we can add a little logo. We, I'm just gonna put in the, this one for now. 
I might change that because it, it doesn't look that appetizing. Um, but then when I'm ready, I can just click launch and then it'll launch the package. Package does not contain any exported actions. So that's great. I need to also click update. That's a very important uh, key. In order to actually create this package and use it, you need to ensure that it's available for others. So we're going to go and do that. So export components for use by others. <coughs> Great. Very important detail, must not forget. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a, a command K again and go into each individual component and we're going to say export this component. So we're going to click this little button and make sure that it's we, you can export it. All of the components are now exported. So I'm going to go in and say publish. And all components are now exportable. You see how that qu really quickly became a lot of different branches? It's a lot of work building basic things like this. Um, so it's really useful to have packages that you can just install. Now we're going to launch. And once it's launched, it's actually available for use. So we're going to go into, let's do a huge giant elephant. And let me create a new branch. I can pack install. And then you'll see on the left-hand side here, packages, there will be a pack that's called social icons down here. And we can look, when we click it, here's that detail page, the readme pack um, that, you, that we created. So that's what the user will see. You can either clone this to create a more advanced version. So say you want to add icons for the other 10,000 social networks that someone once built in a basement. Um, you can do that. Or if you want to make it an even more advanced icon pack and say, hey, I actually have a lot more icons that I want to publish. And um, I'll, I'll do that. So that creates a new package that you can play around with. But what we're going to do now is install it and also give yourself a star and a like or vote. Um, or do that to other people's packages. It means a lot because then people can see, OK, if there's quite a lot of people who've used this that like it. Anyways, I've now installed the package. And what I can do is I can go back to my home page. And if I need to insert, say, an, uh, an icon, I can just simply click E and then go down to my components. And you can see all of the different icons are now here available for use. So social icons um, for all the different ones. I can choose X, and then I'll see it inside of my uh, thing. You can't really see it because it's black. But that, again, that's the style that we set. So if we go in and set the color to white, then it's white. And if I go in and create, say, a div for these social icons, I can also adjust the size. So I want it to be 90 pixels. And then all of a sudden, I have an icon. And that makes it a lot easier to work with, um, with Toddle because you can just import what other people have already built for you. 